Welcome back to the Unspoken Gossip, the podcast where Robert Friedman uncovers the world's most mysterious mysteries. So mysterious, even the mysteries don't know their mysteries. Today, we're taking you on a wild ride through New Mexico, the land of enchantment, or as we like to call it, the land of, wait, did that just happen? First up, we have the legendary tale of devil worshipers and their unconventional choice of hangout. The truth or consequences, water towers. Yes, you heard that right. Water towers. Because when plotting dark rituals, nothing says diabolical like climbing a rusty ladder to the top of a municipal structure meant for hydrating the town. Some say teenagers started the rumor to keep adults away from their secret graffiti spot. Others believe it's a marketing ploy by the bottled water companies. Either way, the town's hydration levels are off the charts, and that's the real conspiracy. Next on our tour of the bazaar, we head over to Alamogordo, home of the Trinity site, where humans decided that splitting the atoms in the desert was a great idea. It's also the hotspot for UFO sightings. Because apparently, aliens have a keen interest in our finest craters. Perhaps they're just passing by to admire our fireworks. Hey, Zarg, let's swing by Earth and see how their nuclear experiments are going. I hear the upgrade from sticks and stones. And let's not forget the old Masia Jail in Las Cruces, a building so haunted even the ghosts are looking for real estate elsewhere. Visitors report unexplained noises, mysterious shadows, and doors that open and close on their own. But with a drafty old building and hinges that haven't seen oil since the 19th century, who needs the supernatural? Maybe the ghosts are just the wind whispering, fix me. Over at New Mexico State University, rumors abound of paranormal activity. Students claim to see apparitions in the library, but let's be honest. After pulling an all-nighter fueled by energy drinks and desperation, anyone would start seeing things. Mysterious events include textbooks disappearing and reappearing in the wrong sections. That's not a ghost. It's a freshman who doesn't understand the Dewey Decimal System. Now, if you think that's intriguing, let's circle back to those water towers in a town named Truth or Consequences. Who needs Vegas when you have a place that sounds like it's constantly in the middle of a dare? Legend has it the town was named after a game show, which raises the question, were Wheel of Fortune and Jeopardy already taken? Perhaps the devil worshippers are just hardcore fans trying to summon the show's revival. Oh, mighty spirits, bring back our beloved program and let there be prizes. Speaking of the extraterrestrial, perhaps the UFO sightings in Alamogordo are just the latest reality show in the alien world. Real spacecrafts of the Milky Way, featuring Earth as the unsuspecting backdrop. The aliens tune in every week to watch us argue over parking spaces and the correct way to pronounce GIF. Reality TV has never been so intergalactic. Back at the old Mazia jail, some say the spirits are restless because they're tired of the same old haunting routine. Chains rattling, eerie moans. It gets old after a couple of centuries. Maybe they'd need a hobby. Ghost knitting, perhaps? Imagine ethereal scars floating through town. It would certainly boost tourism, or at least keep the locals warm during those chilly desert nights. At New Mexico State University, the real mystery isn't the ghostly apparitions, but how the cafeteria food disappears so quickly. Some blame the supernatural, but others point to the football team with appetites that could put a poltergeist to shame. Perhaps the phantom muncher is just a linebacker carb bunker before the big game. Now, let's venture to Roswell, the crown jewel of UFO lore. Here, every weather balloon is suspect, and little green men are just neighbors you haven't met yet. The town has embraced its extraterrestrial reputation with open arms and souvenir shops. There's even a fast food joint shaped like a flying saucer because nothing says welcome to Earth like a side of fries. If cryptids are more your style, New Mexico doesn't disappoint. 
Tales of the elusive Chupacabra abound. A creature that's part coyote, part myth, and all nuisance to local goats. Some farmers have started a support group, Goats Anonymous. Meetings are every Tuesday, refreshments provided, but attendees are reminded to keep a wary eye on their snacks. Let's not forget about the Sandia Mountains, where hikers report encounters with Bigfoot. Skeptics point out that it's probably just a bear with an identity crisis. But who are we to crush Bigfoot's dreams? Maybe he just wants to be part of society, but every time he tries to open a bank account, the tellers scream and hit the alarm. Meanwhile, at the annual balloon fiesta in Albuquerque, the sky fills with colorful hydro balloons, creating a picturesque scene that's almost normal until you realize one of the balloons looks suspiciously like an alien mothership. Coincidence? The organizers say yes, but the tinfoil hat-wearing surveillance device exclaims one attendee, adjusting his homemade antenna. Over in the culinary world, New Mexico boasts a love for green chili so intense it's practically a religion. Uh, they put it on everything, burgers, pizzas, ice cream. Yes, green chili ice cream is a thing. Because green freeze isn't enough, you need your dessert to fight back. Uh, rumor has it that the secret ingredient in their famous chili sauce is just pure, unadulterated determination to make sure your taste buds never forget New Mexico. As we wrap up our journey, let's ponder the peculiar town ordinances still on the books. In some places, it's illegal for a donkey to sleep in a bathtub. One can only imagine the scenarios that led to such legislation. Perhaps too many donkeys were dozing off during their bubble baths, causing a drain on the town's water supply. It's these little quirks that make New Mexico not just a state, but a state of mind. So whether you believe in the supernatural, the extraterrestrial, or just the extraordinarily weird, New Mexico offers a smorgasbord of the unbelievable. It's a place where the line between reality and legend is as blurry as a UFO photograph taken on a flip phone. Here, the truth isn't just stranger than fiction. It's having a fiesta with it. Join us next time on The Unspoken Gossip when Robert Freeman uncovers the hidden world of the desert's underground lizard people who may or may not be responsible for those missing car keys you swore were on the kitchen counter. Until then, keep your eyes on the skies, your ears perked for ghostly giggles. And remember, in New Mexico, the question isn't, is it real? But how much weirder can it get? Thank you for joining us on this roller coaster of oddities. This has been The Unspoken Gossip, and I'm your host, Robert Freeman. Stay curious, stay skeptical, and most importantly, stay amused. Because if you can't laugh at a town full of water tower climbing devil worshipers and calorie counting ghosts, then you're missing out on the best parts of life. Until next time. Keep your sense of wonder and your sense of humor alive and well.